the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Al-Faruqu baynana wa baynahu miswala, wa man tarakaha fakade kafara. The difference between us and them, he was talking about the Muslims, the difference between the Muslims and the disbelievers is swala. That is right. And the one who abandons it becomes an unbeliever. So you want to say that if a Muslim uh, deliberately refuses to pray, he becomes a disbeliever? Yes. So is this an advice you're giving to all the, the, the kids like you in, in Uganda that they have to pray if they are Muslims? And if they abandon prayers, they become disbelievers? Yes. But I want to, I want to know. Uh, supposing I was sleeping and I miss Subuh prayers, yes. and I wake up like at, uh, at 8 a.m. when the sun has already come out, do I pray it there or I just leave it? When you forget what we call a nisyan, mm. when you remember, that time you remember is when you pray. So you should not leave swala. Swala is very important. And there are some disbelievers that behave like Muslims. Mm. That's what we call nifaq. Mm. Huwa idharul islam mm. waktimanul kufri. Mm. They show that they are Muslims, but when in their hearts are disbelievers. Mm. Now that disbeliever will lie others that I prayed but when did not pray. Now when you are a real Muslim, you don't pray to see you, mm. but you pray to know that the owner of that prayer is seeing you. So Allah, Allah is the one, so we pray ikhlas alillah, nah. so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees what we are doing. Nah. Thank you very much. Uh, what is your name? My name is Lubyogo Abdurrahim. And where do you study from? From Medina Because Islamic. I really loved your ones. Where do you study from? I, I study from Medina Islamic Junior School in San Jikatedike. In what class are you? In primary six. Now this is interesting because you've given me a clear view of salah and in that context I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the best out of that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.